Good morning everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and today I'm out with the kids, it's a beautiful day and we're, uh, we're ice skating. No, metal detecting. What? Metal detecting. Oh, sorry, metal detecting. Yep. On the beach. We're on the beach, it's a beautiful day. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and we've come down on the beach. Eden bought herself a, a metal detector off the car boot for three pound. And we're gonna see if we can get our money back, aren't we? Yeah. Are we gonna find anything else? Yeah. What? Diamonds. Diamonds? Yeah. What about you, Nathan? What do you think we're gonna find? Another one. Another one? Right, okay then. We'll get started and we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated on what we find. Let's get going. Let's find some treasure. Yeah. Right. We're getting quite a good signal about there. Hang on. About there. Carefully. Do a bit deeper than that. Let me just check again. Yeah, definitely there. Oh, what no. A what? pound! Pound coin! Hey! One pound! Pound coin! Brilliant! Hey, yeah. happy with that? Yeah! <laughs> Only another two to go and we've paid for the metal detector. Excellent. Right, we've got another good signal about there. Let's dig there, Nathan. Yep. It's there, where my thing is. No, dig, actually dig a, dig a lump out there. Get over. Still in, still in there. Dig again, dig again with your spade. Same place. Just tip it on the side. Wait, no, my afternoon is. Right, right. Mind Eden, mind Eden. Got something in there. No, dig, dig there, Nathan. Back right there. Just tip it to the side. Don't tip it too far. Stop, stop, stop. There, it's there. Oh, I can see it. It's a big piece of metal. I don't know what it is. Can you dig it out, or is it just a big piece of iron? Ooh, don't break your spade. <laughs> don't get your, you get your gloves wet. Uh, it might just be a big massive piece of metal that's buried in the ground. Let's scrape the sand away, Eden. Yeah. Is that it? Let me just check. Yeah, that's it. What is it? That? Don't. Right, take your glove off and just see if it'll come out because it might have just be buried in the sand. What is it? Just be careful with it because I don't know what it is. Is it loose or? No. I'll try. Scrape it away with this spade again, just a little bit. No, don't, don't get your spade in there. It goes all the way to there. Yeah, it might just be. Might buried into the concrete or something. Yeah, it's something. Yeah. I think we'll leave that. Okay, we've got another live dig in. Let's try and get it again. Hang on, Eden. Right there. See what underneath might be around it. Just dig a no, dig a dig a lump out. We'll just tip it to the side. Just tip it over to the side, not too far. Still in there. Just dig dig a dig a lump out. Tip it to the side. Just tip it over. 
Good. 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 Put it to the side. It's still in there. It's quite deep, so it must be a big... Yeah, that. Yeah, what's that? Oh, I know what that is. What? You know what that is? Yeah. Leave it there, Nathan. Yeah. Let's just check. Yeah. What is it? Right, see if you can tell what that is. <laughs> <laughs> is it heavy? Yeah. Like a bomb something. Like a bomb. Um, what do you think it is, Eden? It's got something like that. Is it really heavy? It's a weight. A fishing weight. Is it? Yeah, it's metal lead. What we? We're fishing. Use that for your crab line. Hey. I, I thought it was. Is there anything else, Dad? Just check. Man, that's just too... No. Right, let's fill the hole back in. Don't want anybody falling down the hole. Right, that's a good then. Fishing way. Brilliant. Dig a lump out, put it to the side, just slowly. Still there. Yeah, just like that. Dig that. There somewhere. In that lump. Just scrape that lump. Just put it under the metal detector. No. There somewhere. I'll just look through. Do it gently. Yeah, and move things around. Yeah. Yeah. Through the chimney. That's it. Run through. Still there. Is that it? Hold it underneath. What is it? It's a rock, I think. Is it a piece of lead or something? Yeah, something like that. I'll hold it up to the camera. Yeah, I think it's a piece of lead. Okay, put it in there, fine, fuck it. Right. I've got a very strong signal there. Whoa. Right, just there, Nathan. Oh, no, sorry, yeah, go on, let Eden do it. Right, take a clump out, just to the side, Eden. Go in there, just to the side, not miles away. There we go. In there. That's exactly there. Just to the side. Still in. Okay. Oh, what's that there? What's that? What's that there? What's it? Maybe it's rain. I don't know. I don't know what that is. That looks like a, maybe a cap off there. Petrol cap. Wait, let me get. Definitely that. Mm, what's that? Spade right round it. Ooh, that's different. That's not a cam. Ooh, just put it to the side. Ooh. Oh, hang on, is it? What is it? There's that there as well. Yeah. Right, so that. Definitely that. Have a look and see what it is. 
be careful, they might be shot. It's a cap off a jump. Oh, careful, it's... It's a jam thing. It's a jam thing. It's a, it's a jam jar lid, is it? Yeah. Do know what that is? No, I'm not sure. Alright, well, we'll put it in the uh, finds box and we'll check when we get home. Just mind your fingers on it, Eden. Right, okay, we're back home now from our little uh, metal detecting adventure. I'll just go through some, this is what we've come back with. I'll, uh, I'll start at this end. We've got an assortment of nails and screws, which I didn't really want to leave on the beach. So I just picked them up and thought I'd uh, put them in our bag. Don't know what that is, little bracket. Uh, bottle top, big lump of whatever that is, looks like a bolt or nut and a bolt, a lot of rubbish. Uh, a few bits of shrapnel -y type stuff. Um, then there was this, this is like a piece, I think it's a piece of lead, but it's got some, uh, I don't know if you can see that, see if we can focus on that. It's got like ribs in it, so I don't know what that's off. And then there was this I found, um, it was all covered in crud. When I cleaned it up it had some writing on, I thought, oh, that might be interesting. But then I realised what it was, it was the uh, top of a lighter. Then there was this thing, really heavy, it's like a square peg type thing, with a chiselled end on it, and bent over at the end, so I'm not sure what that was. And then there was this, this was giving a really strong signal big lead fishing weight that was quite deep down actually and uh, it found that quite easily then we got onto the interesting stuff we got uh, first we found a pound coin and then we found a penny and then right at the end I found a 50p right by the steps as we were going off the beach but probably the most exciting thing well for me anyway was this little thing here some of you may know what that is some of you may not um, I don't know if you can read that. Uh, at first, I thought it was the a petrol cap or a, a cap off a like a can or something. But uh, I've cleaned it up and I've read what it says on the uh, tin, and uh, it says D and W Gibbs, London. D&W Gibbs Limited, London, made in Great Britain, Britain. And I've been on the internet, done a bit of research. In the middle it says name of owner, in the middle. And having done some research, it turns out it's the lid of Gibbs toothpaste, a tin of Gibbs toothpaste. And it dates back to about, well, about 1940s, 1950s it seems. So the one thing that I thought was complete rubbish was probably the thing with the most interest. So that was quite a nice little find. So uh, there you go, that's the fruits of our labour from our metal detecting session. Just a bit of fun today, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.